guys, I'm in Dubai, finally. I say finally, it was only like a three hour flight, but still. I've still got my sunglasses on because I do actually look rough. But yeah, super bougie. Obs. I'm staying at the one and only. It's really nice. Really like grand. So yeah, we're gonna go to the mall of the Emirates now because we just need to pick up a few things. So yeah. <laughs> So guys, tonight we're going to Nobu. Nobu is actually my favourite restaurant ever. I love the one in London and the first Nobu I ever went to was in Dubai. So this is actually my fifth time in Dubai now, so clearly I love the place. So yeah, we're just on the Bottega. Me and my mum always get Bottega at the airport before we come to Dubai, so... <laughs> tasting menu from there that's what we always have and like it never lets us down so yeah it was sick so yeah nobu was unreal as usual i had one too many porn star martinis as usual but that's just standard so yeah so it's our first full day in dubai so we're gonna go for some breakfast now oh hopefully the breakfast is real good i'm sure it will be and then we're just gonna go to the beach i'm really scared because i feel like it's just gonna be so so hot so yeah <laughs> absolutely baking like proper boiling hot and i've also got this really shitty bikini on from femlux and literally like every 10 minutes or so the bikini starts like rolling up and bearing in mind i'm in dubai the last thing i need is my tip to like actually fall out on the beach like i literally stood there like this oh my god because everything was on show because of the stupid bikini you know when like things irritate you more because you're hot but other than that i'm really enjoying it we just had some really nice lunch and obviously i had to have a cocktail i say it was good but i'm so hot it's literally like 41 degrees today so yeah if you watch my moldy's vlog you'd have seen that i said about my chest and having this like rash the rash is still there don't know what to do don't know what's wrong don't know if it's the heat so yeah i'm just like over it now Bills are right tonight. We're going to a Lebanese restaurant that we literally love called Al Nafora. We've stayed at Zabil before, so we kind of know the restaurant. So yeah, we're all ready to go. So yeah, I'm wearing this real tight bodycon dress from Opali. I think this is still available, but I literally brought it ages ago for like an awards night. But yeah. So guys, I have to tell you this story, even though it gives me a little bit of PTSD to bring this up. <laughs> So I was getting ready to go out and then I walked like across my bathroom. So let me show you. So all I did was walk from there to there to go and get an eyeshadow. And then I tripped on the scale that was on the floor and literally fell into the bath. And my arm <laughs> literally got trapped like up in here. I banged my like bum really bad on my foot. So yeah, that was the drama of the evening. So tell everyone your version of... <laughs> Do you know what? I, I can't even 
remember how it happened because one minute you were standing there, the next minute you were sat in the bath crying. My arm was strapped. It was strapped. And guys, I wasn't even like dressed. Like I literally just got out of the shower and I just had the towel wrapped around me. But yeah, luckily I lived to tell the tale because anything could have happened really. I could have... <laughs> I could have broke my leg, my arm. Oh, you're exaggerating. <laughs> I'm not. I'm it not. was that glass of potato. It one minute, wasn't. One minute you're filming a glass of potato, the next minute you're dropping it to the bath. Guys, we love Bottega. Every time we go, like on holiday, we always get bottles of Bottega because we love it. Dad, how did you feel when you realised I fell in the bath? I'm shocked because <laughs> I thought it was the hair dryer that dropped on the floor. <laughs> and then you realised it was me. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was a bit of a, a light fall. Okay guys, we just got back from dinner. It was real good as always, but like obviously we didn't expect anything less. We've literally been there like five times. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed now and then tomorrow it's like our last full day. And then this is the end of my holiday, which makes me so sad. Like I actually don't wanna go home, so yeah. Okay guys, so it's our final day today. Me and mom are gonna go to the marina, but we're gonna go for breakfast now, so yeah. <laughs> The last time we're going to the other one and only restaurant, we have to go by boat. tonight was incredible really liked it had like some really nice lamb chops so it's definitely worth the boat trip over we went to 101 restaurant it was so good so yeah that was our last dinner in dubai it's like a real flying visit our transfer is not actually till like 12 tomorrow so we still got a little bit of time to get breakfast and things like that so yeah also why is my hand like a flipping claw so yeah so guys we're going to breakfast for the last time i'm actually gutted i literally don't want to leave but yeah. 